guys, it's time to set a Saturday, so we're debating movie guy. This week, Pirate Movie Guy looks at the best and worst films of 2014. Let's get to it. Brought you a better bit of movie guy. Oh, hello there. I'm the bearded movie guy. Yeah, I got a mug. Look at this. Check this out. I got a mug. My my brother-in-law was very nice enough. My brother-in-law's name is Chris. And he was awesome enough to give me this awesome bearded movie guy mug for Christmas. So, yeah. Bearded movie guy mug. I'm gonna take another drink later. Anyways, I still haven't done my best of of 2014. Why? I've been lazy. I've been tired. I've been sick. I've been sick and tired of being sick and lazy and lazy of being sick and tired. So, I thought, let's do the best and worst of of the year. Now, I didn't get to see every movie this year. There are some that are incredible that I didn't get to see. There are some that are terrible I didn't get to see. But this is just what I saw. These were the best films. I'm only going to do sevens. I'm not doing any honorable mentions because my buddy Josh keeps on bothering me about it. Again, this is just my opinion. Some of these movies you may be shocked about that I think are awesome or bad. Let me know. That's what the comments are for. All right, before I get into it, these are the movies I didn't get to see. Gone Girl. Whiplash, Fury, Birdman, Nightcrawler, Theory of Everything, Foxcatcher, The Babadook, Imitation Game, Unbroken, Selma, American Sniper. Yeah, I didn't see any of those. Why? Because they're all out near the end of the year and I got busy and I didn't have money and... I'll see them sooner or later. I'm going to do a top seven at the end of 2015, which will then tell you the best movies of 2014. Because I'll probably have seen them all by then. This list will look kind of different, this top seven. Anyways, on to the top seven movies of the year. Number seven, Grand Budapest Hotel. Wes Anderson's great fun time about a hotel and its residents and its staff. It's funny, a lot of great performances. It's Wes Anderson. Number six, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Yeah, it's awesome. Number five, X-Men, Days of Future Past. Yeah. It's awesome! Number four, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and the Monkeys of the... whatever. Yeah, I was shocked about this one. It was great. Loved this movie. Thought it was spectacular. Number three, Guardians of the Galaxy. This movie was solely fossum. Solely means so totally, and fossum, if you watch my review, means fun and awesome. Solely fossum. Yeah. Number two, Edge of Tomorrow. More people need to see this movie. I've watched it like four or five times now, and every time, I love it. Emily Blunt? Come on. Oh. Tom Cruise did great. Watch it if you haven't seen it. And watch it again if you have. And number one, Transformers. Age of Extinction. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Number one, Interstellar. Uh, you may give me a hard time with this. I didn't get to see all those, those Oscar films at the end of the year, but I did see Interstellar. And... Interstellar blew my mind. It literally did. I sat in the theater, loved every minute of it, was just like, oh. I love no one, but that movie just was awesome. I, if you didn't like it, I totally get it, but I loved it. I loved it. Best movie of the year. All right, that was the best. Let's look at the worst. Now, again, I didn't actually see Transformers because I really didn't want to because I, it just looks like a terrible film, and I've been told it's a terrible film, so I didn't want to watch it. So I didn't watch it, and I'm not going to if I can avoid it. So let's get into it. Number seven, Maze Runner. This movie was well made, but the more you think about it and the ending, the worse it gets. We want a sequel. Try making a good first film, then you could have a sequel. Number six, Enemies Closer. Now I saw a lot of films that were out this year that went kind of fast to DVD. This was one of them. John Clan Van Damme is a terrorist, but he's a nature loving terrorist, so he likes to use horses instead of cars because it cuts down on emissions and stuff. It's a really bad film. Number five, three guys to kill. Kevin Costner was good. The rest of the film was crap. It was boring, stupid, didn't make sense. This is dumb. Number four, I Frankenstein. I wanted to like this. I really did, but it sucks. Aaron Eckhart, I hope you got paid well. Number three, a million ways to die in the West. This was awful. I couldn't even get through it. I'll be honest. I couldn't. So it should, shouldn't really be on the list, but it's on the list because I just couldn't get through it. It was so bad. It's awful. Number two, Into the Storm. Ugh, 
It's like a found footage movie about tornadoes that have will, that are evil. It had a cool vehicle in it, but that was it. It was really bad. And number one, Noah. Holy crap. Okay, have a Bible story that doesn't follow almost anything from the Bible. But forgetting that, forgetting any religious connotations, forgetting like that you offended people that have faith that is a... This movie was just awful. It was boring. It was boring. It was boring. Did I mention it was boring? It was just... Everything about it was so bland and boring. And everything they tried to make it look cool, like rock monsters, just came off as stupid. I don't... It was boring. There's my top sevens of the year. Tell me what you think. This is a really good year for movies, generally. <clears throat> I think I need a drink. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what your best movies of the year were. And look out for next week's video because we're going to be talking about the top seven most anticipated films for the Bearded Movie Guy of 2015. Until next time, stay bearded, everyone. You're watching the Bearded Movie Guy. <coughs> he got a cough this week. Tell him what movie you thought was the best movie of the year. And as always, you're the second.